So in light of the state of the world right now, I want to get into a little small discussion about One Piece. Before I get back to my actual points, well, the video I was supposed to actually make today, this is kind of like spread the moment, didn't really have my script together, but I wanted to get these thoughts out about this stuff fresh in my mind. So One Piece, right? This is going to be about the world government. So let's parallel a few things right here. So in our world, we have our respective governments, all the kind of stuff that help govern our bodies. Well, technically, literally our bodies, because, you know, if you also have, you know, a uterus, you know, um, th that uh, and government, you know what I mean? Anyway, don't want to get you deep in that. But um, basically how your government basically controls everything, the laws that are set before you and you as a citizen abide by them. Um, you pay taxes, all that good stuff. Now in one piece, we have the world government. Now they are the ruling body and at the very top are the celestial dragons and that one person who like supposed to sit on the throne and whatnot, you know, I, I haven't gotten all that too far <clears throat> into the manga. So please bear with me. I, I basically am, I'm pretty much an anime person. I do my thing right there, but anyway. Um, on to my point, basically how the world is right now, um, basically everyone living paycheck to paycheck, um, pretty much suffering the systemic woes of basically uh, overconsumption in the billionaire class, basically, you know, controlling uh, pretty much all aspects of our lives from legislation to our air quality, water quality, and everything really. They can also be compared to the celestial dragons in that sense that uh, the celestial dragons um, basically chose who live, who dies. They control the whole entire world and everyone capitulates to their whim. And they're these sick, they're these little weak, sickly peons that are arrogant and don't deserve anyone's sympathy whatsoever. Like at most, like if they were on fire, no one should even spit on a celestial dragon because that's literally what they deserve. The arrogance should be paid in kind with no empathy. Even though they basically are humans, they live in a whole entire isolated world where they literally rule as gods, see themselves as gods and act accordingly as such. Couldn't that be said about the billionaires in our world? You know? But anyway, back to One Piece. So all of the wealth in the whole entire world is consolidated by the Celestial Dragons. And of course they have their convening, uh, what is it called? Uh, their reverie, that's it, where they get all of the ruling families together. They talk about the world's issues, their kingdom's problems, and they delegate such and such. But even they are also under the control of the Celestial Dragons and their royalty. Shout out to Cobra. But even the royalty cannot go up against the celestial dragons and they basically have their own countries but they have been they've been given the power by the celestial dragons to be able to govern these things and stay in alignment with the world government and push their laws and also have to pay tribute to the celestial dragons basically paying taxes that sucks even in anime you can you can't even escape taxes Ugh. and here comes straw hat luffy basically doing everything that he can in order to boast against the system and be free doing every single thing that he can within his power along with his friends to be free granted it's an anime but it is it is the best anime of our generation unless you want to compete you know or, or you want to compare uh your favorite anime um what is your favorite anime by the way I, i'd like to know that right there and do you agree with one piece being like the top anime you know the best anime of a generation with its extensive episodes arcs and what i can get all into that we'll have to get into that into another discussion but um but back to that back to what we're talking about luffy going up against all odds and persevering all for the sake of his friends and for his freedom and to be a pirate is to be free and possibly dirt uh, maybe really dirty because like i don't even know if they're really washed like that but he's a rubber man but anyway still <laughs> he boasts against the world powers and pushes on to achieve his goals and his dream, his ambition, his drive, while all retaining like a, a childlike naivete, you know? But granted, he's um, kind of, he's grown more and truly, like, like even in his fighting style, he's grown much more and he continues to grow and he's gonna be growing even further. Um, into the future uh, as One Piece comes to a close in the future it may be like 20 years from now who knows but still like you know it's still on the way but basically he's doing everything that he can in order to be able to secure his own freedoms regardless of what his grandfather Garp wants him to do regardless of the, whatever the world government says um, the emperors regardless of what anyone else says he has that drive that allows for him to be able to achieve his dream his dream his dream his dream of becoming the Pirate King. I find that very interesting and refreshing that, you know, regardless of all the woes of the whole entire world, regardless of the celestial dragons, him literally punching a celestial dragon and understanding that, yeah, gonna be an enemy of the world government. What you gonna do, pull up, square up. It's gonna be what it is. It's gonna be on site whenever I do see you, celestial dragons. Like, you, cause like they've been even enslaved people. But I mean, it's also like um the revolutionary army. The world is just full of a plethora of people. people 
of, of different like gender norms it, it, like it doesn't really exist like you know you have your male female and those in between and like everyone respects everyone's pronouns it's like you are what you are but i'm getting up on a tangent <laughs> but basically a lot of the woes that are in one piece um can be said about our current situation in the world you know the top class having all the money and making us capitulate to all their you know everything they also push policy and things that affect us on a literal level while they sit up in their estates um doing nothing while the world crashes around them and burns around them and yeah and the, and the poor stay poor but as you can see in one piece there's a revolution people are catching on people don't want to capitulate to the celestial dragons because who are they like they live in a whole entire fantasy world like they don't have to pay bills they ain't got to worry about eating their whole entire world is literally fabricated and protected by their power and their money and once that's gone what are they a bunch of ignorant rats they don't deserve anyone's time of the day down with the down with the celestial your dragons honest but yeah, i just want to make the comparison real quick you know like our world compared to the celestial dragons granted we ain't got no red line and they ain't sitting in the center of the world maybe somebody is maybe some secret weird families out there going like <laughs> um just plotting on everyone's downfall giving us you know fake meats and trying to block out the sun or whatever I'm pretty sure they may have that like in, in season 20 of One Piece, cash chat in, in 10 years. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to drop the comparisons between the two uh, worlds, our world and One Piece. And they definitely have their, you know, their differences, but they also have their similarities. And the creator of One Piece definitely has been creating and continuing to create a wonderful piece of art that is One Piece. I hope you feel the same way too, because it's, I, I really do feel that way about One Piece. It's it's definitely great. When every episode comes out, you get to uh, immerse yourself into the story a little bit more, get into the characters. And of course on the anime, we're waiting for Kaido to get beat, but our, we already know what's gonna happen in the manga. I don't read the manga. If you read the manga, please let me know. Is manga better than anime? Wait, hold up. Don't do that, don't do that, because it's a complete entire, that's a whole different can of worms, and let's not get into that right now. But but yeah, <laughs> I got off on a few tangents, but, um, but yeah, Luffy out there trying to be free as we all should definitely be free and follow our dreams and do what makes us happy. Uh, you know, not like, you know, pew pewing somebody or like, you know, infringing upon someone's rights <laughs> or being a complete and total butthole. But um, yeah, just living your best life, um, uplifting yourself, staying true to yourself, being the best person you can, being the best self that you can. And I really think One Piece conveys that message and the stark differences um, are there, but the similarities absolutely are. And I want to make that comparison real quick. Also, also so if you have like a, I probably should put a, a warning because my thing back there, my lights kind of going is doing a little sum sum back there. I hope that um, won't be a problem because you know some people have uh, sensory overloads and everything, and I may have to cover that back up. The hat back there was kind of making it hard for me to do my little um, thumbnails, and I'm like, hold on, I don't have an extra head. What's that? But um. <laughs> Anyway, I just want to make that comparison right there before I get back to my actual video for uh, today. Um, and I want to make that comparison and to talk about that real quick. But yeah, the Celestial Dragons and our billionaires. One and the same, both flippant, arrogant people who have massed the wealth for the people while the regular people suffer and die and they live. But as long as the billionaires exist, how can we? Hmm. Yeah, that's something to think about. But anyway, um, I've taken up enough of your time, babes. Um, comment uh, your favorite anime, what you like. How's your day going? Are you drinking water? Are you staying hydrated? Are you staying moisturized? Cause I am definitely staying moisturized. Just washed my face, did all that good stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, um, I'm going to catch you later. Um, see you next time. All right, later.